All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. We are in between the Lightning Data Service, wherein we have just understood how to load a record using different variants. Right now, we'll jump into editing a record. Right, so you might just you might just not want to see the record or you know view the record but might give the provision to you know edit the record in some cases there could be a business use case wherein they want a widget on a screen wherein they can edit like maybe the most two important parameters uh, of a specific object and that's it right so in that case you don't have to give the entire page layout or the entire form you can just give those two fields or five fields whatever it is and allow the end user to edit the record how do you do that you can do this you can you can actually edit records using the light, lightning record form right what we did previously was lightning record form with the read only mode enabled this time we look at the edit mode enabled okay and even here you can choose to mention the fields or not right so now let's look into it so let's jump into VS code and I'm going to create a new lightning web component and I'll say edit record using record form yeah so let's give this name and we know that the lightning record form needs a record ID for which the record has to be edited I'm going to just import the API keyword and then I will also go to my meta file and expose it for a home page or a record page let's say All right, so let's expose it for a home page and let's say also the app, uh, record page. We'll do it for both. Done. The basic setup is done. Great. Let's go to the HTML. Let's create a lightning card. Record form to edit. All right done now like i said we just need the lightning record form correct so lightning record form what do i need to give this fee give this lightning record form i need to tell the lightning record form that my record id that i want to edit is going to be the record id that i have on my url right which we have just created a variable for correct that's one why is this throwing an error ah, okay this is not the right nomenclature id yeah kebab case Second thing, object API name, it is going to be, let's say, case. Yeah. And the mode which was supposed to be read only is now going to be editable. Now, when I say edit, this will ensure that it allows you and gives you those pencil icons to be able to edit the case record. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to deploy this. And let's go into Safari and let's go and say edit page. And let's say we are already on the case record we'll just drop this widget here it is edit edit record using form yeah so just drop this component and let's say save so if you see i can see that some form has been loaded but there are no fields on the layout because you have not told the system what fields do we want right so i'm going to say fields is equal to let's say i don't know name or let's say case number I'll try it like this one more time or else we'll just do the regular way yeah type okay and say deploy all right let's say refresh yeah it's still not showing up record type case mode edit so I'll just take this fields out and I'll just simply bind it with the variable fields okay and I'll define this fields right here okay let's give it a try cool let's say deploy all right took some time but it has been deployed and if you notice the page is now showing up the case number the reason and the type right and you are able to modify the values and you have the save and cancel buttons 
predefined here right they'll take care of everything that you have to do you don't have to write any code to actually handle the save button any code to actually handle the cancel button when you click on cancel it goes back to its normal mode and with a pencil icon you can edit it modify it and save it so the spinner the values and all of it is all coming from the record form just by writing this small code snippet make sense so it's it's like just 10 lines of code that we have written and we are able to create a form on the screen and you know just save a record or you know modify a record that's the power of lightning data, data service all right the only difference from what we did previously to load a record or view a record was this mode if you just move this mode to read only you are going to just see records without the edit access as simple as that okay so that's only for a view purpose cool if you had a requirement let's say that i want to see a specific field and i want it highlighted here in case for a specific scenario you can do it by the lightning record form correct or you can do it with a lightning data service get record and just you know highlight or you know not highlight it based on whatever the value is cool you don't have to write any apex code for that all right great i think that's all i wanted to cover as part of this particular tutorial i'll see you in the next one bye Oh, 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 oh,